Before we start pruning in winter, which is in June, we usually assess the fruitfulness of the buds. And to do this, we take many thousands of samples of tiny four bud canes like this from the vineyard, and we send them to a laboratory. And the technicians under microscope can dissect these buds by cutting the top off and peeling away the multiple leaves that are within that bud. If you imagine that that bud contains a compressed shoot that is about 10 leaves long, ready to burst into growth in spring, and at the base of that compressed shoot are embryonic bunches, and a technician can pair it away and expose those embryonic bunches and count them. And if in the previous spring, in November, December, the temperatures have been warm, then the technician will usually find two to three embryonic bunches in the base of this bud. However, if the temperatures have been quite cold in November, December, then often there might be zero or only one bunch in the base of the bud. The main aim of pruning in the middle of winter is to really try and set the vine up for that ideal yield. And in Glengyle, for example, we're really aiming for that four to five tonne to the hectare, but every block has a target yield, and we're really trying hard to get the bud number right. But the other thing that we're absolutely focused on is trying to spread the bud wood out very evenly and nicely along the cordons, along the arms of the vines, so that when the shoots grow, the shoot spacing is ideal, so that when they carry the fruit later in the season, that fruit has a perfect access to light so that when the berries are developing they're getting a lovely dappled light that will enable the colour to really fully develop. We don't want direct sunshine, we just want a nice dappled light. We don't want, direct, we don't want a lot of shade because then we won't get an adequately coloured berry. So organising that perfect array of the fruit along the vine is also a really important aim of pruning and ultimately if we do that well, then we're really setting ourselves up very well to get very good colour development and tannin development and flavour development in the fruit at harvest time.